Today we're going to be talking about basic training, but not just basic training, showering at basic training. But without further ado, let's get to it. What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video and like I just said, we're going to be talking about showering at basic training and pretty much covering what's it like, how long do you get, the infamous shower drills, right? I know you guys have heard about those, uh, whether they still do them or not, uh, if it's an open bay shower, if it's closed, curtains, uh, what have you. Uh, but before we jump into the video guys, be sure to like this video so it pushes out to a larger audience. Subscribe if you aren't already uh, and down below link is my Discord, there's over four 400 people in there that can help answer y'all's questions should you have any pertaining to the army they actually helped me with this video today and at the end i'll be reading off some of their first-hand experiences with showering at basic training and these are from people that have just gone through in the past six months or so so this is probably the most up-to-date information you'll get in terms of what showering is like at basic training and i've just been using my discord in general a lot more to help fuel these videos whether it's last week's video or the upcoming ones i have planned so if you want to be in there, if you want to help give input to these videos, join the Discord. It's really, really beneficial. And if you just want to support me, you can follow me on my Instagram at the Ben Allen. I try to respond to DMs as much as I can on there. Uh, but jumping straight into the video, guys, I'll be going over my experience with showering at basic training when I went through in 2015, and then we'll jump into the newer, more up-to-date stuff just to give you an idea of like compare and contrast, right? Like how is it the same? How is it different from my experience? And what you can expect going into 2024. But let's start it off. So my experience in basic training, I went to Fort Sill, Oklahoma in 2015, September 20th, I believe, uh, if I remember correctly, right? And when we first got to basic training, we were met with the shower drills when it was time to shower. And the shower drills uh, that we had to do is they sent like maybe five to eight of us, a group, it just depends, right? It varies. Uh, and we'd have to like go. They had every other shower head turned on. So you would go, you'd rinse, and then you'd go to the next next one that was off and you just lather you know just get everything like soapy and everything then you'd go to the next shower that was on you'd rinse off and you just go through like that until you're out and then once you're done you're towing the line this was very very fast paced guys I think this took place in a matter of like seconds per group so you'd go in maybe a couple seconds like 10 15 20 uh, 30 maybe 45 right it just depends it varies uh, and you'd go through like just it was an open bay shower first of all there was no curtains there was no stalls there was nothing like that right uh, and you just cycle through until the whole bay of like 60 plus people was showered uh, It was very very it was it was a new experience for sure, right? I'd never done anything like that I did football in high school So I was used to like showering, you know in open bay showers and being around people like that So it wasn't that big of a deal It was just how fast paced it was that was just kind of like whoa This is crazy, right? And the drill sergeants yelling at you to hurry the fuck up all that shit uh, So it was, it was very crazy, right? Uh, but after that uh, that initial like red phase, I guess you could say. Uh, it was it was still kind of fast paced. They really didn't give you a whole lot of time. But as the cycle went on, you could pretty much shower whenever you wanted, uh, as long as you were done with the day. Like if you're like, it's like nine o'clock, you're the drill sergeants have already done like the final formation, whatever. Like people could shower when they wanted to and stuff like that. Again, it was an open bay shower. Again, this was back in 2015 though, uh, and that was pretty much my showering experience right from basic training so now jumping into the more up-to-date stuff right this is the information that i've gotten from people in my discord that have recently gone through within like the past six months or so right uh, my first question that i had for them was what is the showers like like what are the showers like is it open bay is it curtains is it stalls like like how is it and i'm happy to report that most of the places that i got i asked for every basic training site right so fort moore slash benny and right jackson sill um and um uh, uh, Fort Leonardwood, right? I always forget Fort Leonardwood. Uh, I asked them like, oh, is it open bay or is it stalls? I'll, everybody came back from each basic training saying that it was curtain slash stalls. So you do have that privacy, which is good for those of you that have never really showered in front of other people before. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about being in an open bay shower like we were uh, and stuff like that. But if you've done any sports whatsoever, even if it was an open bay shower, it probably isn't that bad. You know, you're just too concerned about yourself to worry about anything else anyway. Um, but it is curtain slash stalls. 
channels and I do want to preface this by saying uh, I guess I can't really preface it anymore right because I'm already started but I do want to say that just because these people's uh, companies or whatever uh, had curtain slash stalls it could possibly be different for you know different companies at each basic training site mostly because you know maybe somebody got put in like a newer barracks and somebody's in an older barracks they haven't updated the shower so there is a possibility that you could uh, have an open bay shower but I'm pretty sure it's very very like minimal of a chance of that happening uh, mostly because the army is just trying to steer more towards like a, like a a sharp safe environment right they don't want any you know complaints of sexual harassment they don't want any bad things happening they just want everybody to feel comfortable and stuff like that so I'm just want, want to say for the most part from the reports I got from everybody in my discord uh, it is curtain slash stalls so you don't really have to worry about the open base showers if you, that's something you're concerned about right the next question that I asked my discord was are shower drills still a thing right because you know back in 2015 they were a thing and i would think that nowadays they really aren't you know just because it's just not something you really have to do but uh for some basic training sites they are i had people in my discord tell me that they did do shower drills uh the times varied uh per individual that told me uh from like Benin or jackson or zill leonard wood whatever some one one person told me that they had like five seconds if that to go through and just like it with their groups and shit and just fucking you know shower rinse off and just you know toe the line immediately back before the drill sergeants got pissed at you right uh, another person said they had like five minutes maybe for like the whole bay of like 60 people so they'd go in groups uh they'd shower real fast you know rinse off all that stuff and they'd have to be back towing the line uh and they said that that lasted from like um like about red phase and like the first three days basically like the first three days are always going to be like the hardest you know most up tempo type of things for that type of stuff because they want you out fast they want you ready for training they don't want you to miss any hit time whatsoever uh but they did say that after about like red phase like they were really like they kind of let up on it and they were given more freedoms and it was just wasn't as bad as the beginning with that said i'm gonna go ahead and move into kind of like tips tricks hacks you know for showering at basic training right it's not really anything crazy but you guys might be wondering oh when can i shower at basic training right so when typically uh you do pt and you finish that and you go back to the bay you can shower uh, but I will say, uh, if you're going to do it, make sure it's fast because you do have to be at your formations after PT. You really don't have a whole lot of time uh, in between the end of PT and when you have to have your first formation for when you guys are going to step off to like chow or whatever. Uh, so make those fast. Don't take forever because if you take forever, you're screwing over your battle buddies because I'm pretty sure everybody's going to want to shower at least, right? Uh, and if they only have a certain number of stalls, uh, you don't want to be that guy that's just taking, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes to shower, right? You don't even have that time type of time uh, in the morning at basic training guys so just in and out rinse off hit the hot spots and you're good right and then you go through your day you come back to the bay maybe you're finally settling in you do the mail call whatever at nine um, and it's like lights out or whatever at this point you can kind of shower at your own discretion right there really isn't a, like a time limit there isn't because you're, you're going to bed right so you're just uh, sacrificing your sleep in order to shower which you know is warranted right uh, so this is the time where you would see people you know going in there taking a little longer taking their time really getting clean uh, and just you know showering it up right so uh, those are like the two main times you'll get to shower at basic training uh, I will say uh, some tips if you're gonna be like taking a have shower shoes for sure uh, you don't want to be stepping on the nasty ass floors at basic training I know some people that did that in basic and I would look at them and I'd be like dude how are you doing that right now that is disgusting because uh, those floors are not the cleanest in the world right so shower shoes you can either pack those with you to basic training just get a pair of like all black rubber uh, shower shoes or when you go to the px at basic training they do sell them there so you can buy them there as well i think they're like 99 cents for a pair guys so definitely invest in those uh they'll help you out in the long run keep your feet clean you won't get any like you know bacteria or anything on there so that's a plus right uh another thing is make sure you guys have like a, a toilet bag or something you know just to hold all your stuff like your razors your toothbrush uh just anything important to you because people do steal at basic training a lot of that stuff is you know hot commodities right and people want that maybe they lost theirs maybe they didn't and if you're gonna go in there with your uniforms or whatever make sure you're keeping them close by don't just hang them up and don't forget them because uniforms are a big thing guys because people 
uh, maybe lose a uniform uh, when they're doing laundry or something people steal them like people will take your shit so uh, either write your name on them or just you know keep it close by to where you don't even have to run the risk of losing your uh, clothes or uniforms just to be safe right uh, it helps out a lot um, and other than that guys that's pretty much it in terms of showering at basic training right shower drills are still a thing from what I hear at different uh, various basic training locations so keep that in mind you may have to be doing those uh, could change by the time you guys go in who knows uh, but in terms of open bay showers uh, from what I was told in my discord those really aren't a thing anymore you do have the curtains you do have the stalls you do have the privacy right so you don't have to worry about you know just letting it all hang out in an open bay shower right so for those of you that were worried about that there's your answer and you know I hope you guys have a good time at basic training and you guys aren't worried about that type of stuff at the first place. Uh, but thank you all for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Uh, thank you to my Discord for helping me out with uh, this today's video. You know, you guys gave me a lot of valuable input. Um, and there's just so much stuff in here, guys. Like, they helped me out. I haven't made a whole section of my Discord called YouTube uh contact or youtube ideas youtube topics and i'll ask them a question for the video that i'm planning and they'll help me answer it give you the most up-to-date information so i'm um, happy to report that as of 2024 i think this is the most up-to-date showering video in terms of basic training but again like this video so it pushes out to a larger audience i greatly appreciate it subscribe if you're new here guys because we're posting videos pretty much every week or every other week uh, pertaining to basic training i'm gonna be hitting on some 68 whiskey stuff as well because that's what i was in the army so stay tuned for that type of video and you know be sure to join the discord which is linked down below my instagram is at the ben allen that is also linked below be sure to hit it up and you know drop a follow send me some questions if you have any and yeah thank you all so much for tuning in i appreciate y'all and i'll see you on the next one later